what's going on everyone thanks for checking out another of my videos so i got my two kids with me today aubrey and ben we're about to arrive into san francisco right now at jmp bay to get some live anchovies plan today is get these kids on some halibut bite's been good lately can't go for salmon we're hoping to get on them today and spend some good time together so it's really early i got these kids to the marina before five o'clock can you guys believe it and that's because we got high tide around nine. We want to get on these fish early. I think we're going to have a good bite this morning. So we'll see you at JP's here as we get this bait and wish us some luck. All right, guys. How you doing, man? Good yourself? Good. Still a half scoop. So I'm meeting my friend Matt here. Look at that, uh, look at that boat he's in. So I'm giving him some bait. Much appreciated, my man. Looking forward to returning the favor. That's that's perfect. That's perfect. Good. We are good. Alright. Oh uh, well, good luck to you out there. Yeah. So we're just gonna have uh, fun. We're just gonna go up there a little bit and then just have it drift down. Yeah, yeah. Right on man. Awesome. Sounds good. Alright, good luck guys. Good luck. Thanks, Chris. Yep. just arrived to the fishing grounds i love this place not only for the big halibut but the golden gate bridge man what a view huh guys yeah all right we're gonna drop down three rods right now show you our setup and i'm thinking we're gonna get some good ones today all right so we got excellent halibut conditions this morning we got a slow incoming tide. We're 50 feet of water, 55 feet of water. We're gonna be drifting in about 35 feet. Um, so we're only using a six ounce weight because we're gonna be moving pretty slow. So I don't need to do more than that. Doing a size two hook with a size six treble. And I'll probably just have it sit just below the anchovy like that. There we go. All right, all three rods are set down now. We're fishing. So we're using the same rods on all three today. It's the Akuma Monterey. Let's see, we'll do it this way. There we go. So I'll have that in the description. And then the reels, they're all from Akuma as well. We got the Komodo, the Cortez. And then I just picked this one up over here. It's my newest one, the Tessero. <laughs> It's deeper water here. It's a long way to go. Keep going. Aubrey, you know we got one? It's a good one, Ben? Yes. Now we're getting close. All right, stop there. We're gonna stick it now. See that? All right. First one of the day came within about the first 15 minutes or so. Just started the second drift and fish on. I don't know, 24 incher. Yep. Oh, we got one. Here we go. Come on, Aubrey. 
One hand right here. I get this guy up. You want to eat him for dinner, don't you? Oh man, Aubrey, is this your biggest halibut fight ever? I don't know. So Aubrey just woke up from a little nap. The end. All right, let's see. Let go. Let's stop really now. And we got one of the other. Whoa! Look how big it is, guys. Oh, you see that? Oh, watch out, guys. Oh man, wow. it's so big. How are we gonna get hey, watch out. Okay. Here the fight comes again. Okay, watch out, Ben. It's gonna... All right, we got him. You got him? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. big. Jeez, Isn't that huge? Yeah. Get enough for a picture, come here. Can I go? Wow! All right, watch out. Let's give this big one a measure. Yeah, I'm thinking it's like 36 inches. Nope. 34. 34. Well, amazing start to the morning. It's 717 and we have two keepers already and one jumbo. Uh, the wind's picking up. That's not supposed to happen until like 10 o'clock today. It was supposed to be a calm morning. Uh, hopefully it dies down or doesn't get any worse because it's not as great with the kids out here and so rocky and everything, a little harder to fish. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But we started off in the spot this morning with no boats. It's just Matt who we met. Um, and now all the party boats are showing up. They started off at a different place this morning. I saw them. Think about going there. Good thing I didn't. I guess there wasn't a bite because they wouldn't have left. So them all being here now puts a little more pressure on this spot. Hey, I'm gonna move over to Berkeley. It's getting too choppy here for the kids. Well, I'll let you know how the bite is and keep me informed here. I would watch that party boat there next to you. Um, the ones that I was next to was like 10, 15 minutes ago. I didn't see them drop a net and they left, so. Let's do a little check-in. So we're moving spots. Um, I mean, we got those fish early, but all the party boats moved in. And I didn't see a single fish caught, nothing. Um, and then they all just started moving. So I haven't seen a fish caught there in about 30, 40 minutes, a lot of boats. I'm gonna go find a new spot. We should have a hot bite this morning. I know there is somewhere, so we'll keep moving and try and get on some fish here quickly. See you in the next spot. Nice striper. Go ahead and give that guy a release, probably about 20 inches.
god. Can't see. It's a keeper. Okay, watch out. Let me get in there. All right, let's give this uh, third one here a measure. Smaller, 24, be my guess. Yep, 24. Whenever you see these, the joints, they're at the 12 and 24, 36 inches and it you know, bends up. All right, well, a little after eight and we got three. So now we see what we got. It's not too big. I think it might be too small. Yeah. It's close. Maybe not. Watch out, Aubrey. I'm going to flick it in. I think it's a keeper, Aubrey. All right, this guy's close, but it's looking like it's 23. So it's, it's there, barely a keeper, barely 22. You know, we didn't net this fish, but you can see it's been netted before and let go. It's grown up a little bit since that time and it's ready to be kept. Yeah, barely. All right, a little after nine o'clock now, we got the four keepers on the boat. How are we feeling, guys? Good. Good, eating some chocolate milk and cookies? Yeah. Yeah, that always makes fishing fun, huh? Yeah. Almost empty? Well, good thing we have a second one. Yeah. All right, so two fish in the second spot here, two fish in the first spot. We're feeling good. We're kind of getting to the top of the tide, so we're not moving much right now. Curious to see what happens when that tide changes, if we still can get some fish. Oh, we got one. Ben, it's your turn. You must have, you want to get that one. Ben, I want to get that one. All right, come on. It's a big one. All right, Ben, reel the last few in. Pulling line out. It's a big fish. Oh, over there, we got one. I think. Yeah. We got a double. Oh, it's another big one. Crap. Yeah, there's something on there. Something on there? Yeah, All right, no, we'll leave it for now. This one's big, guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a good one. Yeah, it's just it's just it's nerves now. Alright, now we're gonna 
now we need to deal with this. The fish could possibly still be on, but it's just relaxing. Oh yeah. Can I break that one? Yeah. Right here. Right here. Your other hand. There you go. Might we got another one, Ben. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, keep going. Alright. Come here, bring it over. The line. It's a little one. Yeah. That one Shoot. Okay, the hook's out. Do you, you say let it go no matter what? Yeah, no matter what. Alright. It's too short anyway. Yep, 20 inches. Say bye bye. Goodbye, fishy. Yay, it's happy. Alright, let's get a measure on number five. What is that one? 31? Just about 31. And what was mine? Aubrey, yours was 34 earlier. Oh, 34? Yeah. I guess I got the biggest fish of the day, too. All right, so we're getting towards the top of the tide right now. It's almost 10 o'clock. We're pretty much there. It's just starting to change and go out. We're not moving at all. Uh, not seeing anything happening. This is pretty typical for the halibut fishing. Um, and also, the wind will probably start to pick up a little bit. I think we're gonna start heading back towards where we launched from. I have a few spots there I wanna try out. Yeah, uh, that'll make sure we stay out of the wind. And we got five fish out here today, so no complaints. We're, we're stoked and we don't really need any more because I don't wanna go clean nine halibut at home. Oh man, that'd be oh, a lot of work. God. That'd be a lot, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're in the new spot. Kids are playing around. <laughs> Would you bring Mario out here? Yeah, apparently he's making me look like walking. All right, Bye. so we're in a new spot. Man, it's so nice out here. Yeah. We weren't moving at all, so I turned the motor on, the kicker. I mean, we're just probably going a half mile per hour or so. I don't know if you call this trolling or not, but we got the live bait on. Uh, it's just, just going as slowly as possible so we cover a little bit of ground. Hopefully we can get another keeper here before we head in. Not a keeper, Aubrey says. Okay, stop really now. Oh, it's a keeper, Aubrey. No, it's a keeper. Here, Aubrey, you net it. Hold the net. You'll have fun with that. You want to aim for his head, okay? So just put the net down in the water more. All right, here he goes. Put down more, put down more. Get him, up. Oh, Aubrey. All right, good practice. Um, Try it again. Extend more this time, okay? So swoop him up, you know what I mean? And if you put his head in first, then he can't swim out. Because they can't swim backwards, you understand? All right, so here we go. Get his head, up, up. Lift up. All right. Yeah. So once you get him in the net, you gotta stick this arm up, out, and lift up, okay? All right, here we go. Oh man. Get him good. All right, Aubrey. There, get him now. Up, up. There we go. Yep. That one looks like a nice one. It's a keeper. Don't you think? Yeah, it definitely looks like a keeper. Yeah. That one will bring home. Yep. Can I smack its You can. Yeah. Hold that. Oh. 
Okay, so you're gonna have to hit as hard as you can right here, okay? Right there. As hard as you can. If you do it not hard, you don't kill it. Nice, again. Good. See, he's out now. Good job, Bobs. And that wasn't very bloody, which was good. Yeah. Didn't get blood all over the Oh, we got one. This one now. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. I don't think so either, Ben. This guy's lucky he didn't get hooked in the gills. All right, you want to say bye? Bye. bye. Have to keep this guy. Let him go. All right, fish number six. Back to uh, 23, 24 inch. Yep. 23 inches. That's never a keeper. It is. All right, I lost my uh, the fishermen here. <laughs> they wanted to go swimming. I can't blame them. It's hot. We're gonna head in. It's only like 10:30, but we got six fish. We don't need any more than that. Look at those beauties. Get in the light. 34 inches. So my personal best is 34 inches. My daughter Aubrey, she got that today. She tied me. Amazing. So happy. Great day out here today. Uh, I want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day, posting this video on Father's Day. So shout out to all the fathers out there. I had a great day. I hope you guys did too. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Alright, stay close so the sharks don't get you. There's still no sharks in here.